Hello. Hang on. That's better. Hello, welcome to Puzzles Please. I'm Maddie and today I thought I would show you some of the puzzles that I have. But where should I start? Okay, first up I've got An Evening in Paris by the Vermont Christmas Company made in the USA. I'm really excited about this one. As you can see it's still in cellophane so I've not done it before and it's the first ever Vermont puzzle that I've done as Vermont are in the USA, other side of the pond to me. And this puzzle, it just really appealed to me with its sort of traditional but romantic sort of theme to it. And you can see the Eiffel Tower in the background, the traditional buildings. But what I love most is that little carousel hiding just there. Next up, I've got some puzzles by Hay. And I really like Hay puzzles. I think the quality is really good. And the designs I really love, they range from being sort of like really comical, funny, like the ones I have this side, to quite fantasy, mystical designs. Now, I've recently done this one. It's Fairy Tales, and it's up on my channel on a time lapse. These two I haven't done yet, so I'll be doing those soon. And I do, another thing I like about Hay is these funky little triangular boxes that you can put together and for storage go quite nicely. This one is called Inner Mystic and the artwork just really stands out for me. When I looked at it, I felt I could just get lost in the magic. However, I think this is going to be quite challenging. This one is Where's Wally? which as a 90s child is kind of a flashback to my childhood searching for Wally. I will post up a time lapse of this soon so you can search for Wally too if you want to. Over here we have got Ravensburger Myths and Legends by Amy Stewart. It's such a beautiful puzzle and it has just about everything I like in it. I asked Santa for this one and I must have been a good girl as I got it. I can't wait to get going on this one. If you see any puzzles you like today, I will try to post some links underneath the video to where they're available. Next up, we have the Ravensburger escape puzzle. A jigsaw puzzle and an escape puzzle in one. I'm quite intrigued, quite looking forward to this one. Under here, we have got Funny Dogs by Eurographics, who are a Canadian company. And they sent me this one kindly after I made a video time lapse of one of their other puzzles. And I'm quite looking forward to this one. It's different to what I normally do, but it's quite amusing, quite cute. So there'll be a video on that one soon too. Here I've got a couple of the Thomas Kincaid Disney puzzles by Schmidt. The first one is Snow White Discovers the Cottage. I've just recently done this one and the quality was really good. It's fairly challenging, but Kincaid puzzles normally are. So I also just bought this one, Mickey and Minnie. I thought it was really cute and a nice one to be doing over Valentine's. Over here, I've got a Wentworth puzzle, the Dell Garden and Garden. Now, this is a puzzle I bought when I was on holiday over the summer as a little memorabilia and Wentworth they're really good quality puzzles, wooden puzzles. Hang on a moment. And they come in this cute little bag. And they're just so lovely. They have these little whimsy pieces in them. Really well printed and they, they sort of have like a woody smell. Not the cheapest puzzles, but I do like them. So this is one I'll definitely be keeping. And here, here I've got Anne Stokes collection, um, Realm of Enchantment. Now this is like a 3D lenticular puzzle. I think that's how you say it. I've never done one of these before, so I quite fancy trying one. Um, yeah, I've not tried it yet, so I'll definitely post a video on it because uh, I'm intrigued. It's only 500 pieces, but I wonder if it's going to be a bit more challenging. 
This one is by Otter House. Spring is here. Well, it's not here just yet, so I might save it till about March to do. But I really like the design. It's sort of got a really cheerful, alive feel to it. And it's a nice little box. With some stuff on the on a shelf would look pretty pretty good. So I think this one's probably one I will keep when I do it. Now, if you've seen my channel, then you probably know I do quite a lot of Wasgidge puzzles. They are brain teaser puzzles, as in the case of also a Wasgidge original. You're not puzzling what you see, you're puzzling what the characters on the box can see. And that makes it quite challenging too. We are almost at the end now, so I will say please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Next up, we've got Gibson's Beautiful Britain. It's my home country and it's a really nice puzzle. It shows all the famous landmarks. I've done it before, but that was before I had the channel, so I might do it again soon as a time lapse. And last but not least is The Castle Cutaway by Steve Crisp. Not only is it a beautiful design, it shows a medieval castle with all the workings inside, but I also have a soft spot for it as it's the first puzzle I did as a video for the channel. Okay, that is everything for today. So I'm going to say take care and happy puzzling.